Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are looking at VDBs. We went through previously in a previous lesson VDBs in general and how to create them and how to generate all the uh, all the voxel data and everything. And now we're going to look at some of the other tools that you have with VDB. So if I type VDB like this, you can see we've got a whole bunch of uh, nodes here that we can use to manipulate VDBs. We can activate uh, VDBs from just a bounding box with some voxel data in it. We can analyze, which means we can check out the curvature and all that kind of stuff. Uh, combine, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So there's a whole bunch of, uh, of things you can do and uh, I'm going to try and go through some of them, some of the ones that I use the most. Okay, uh, first off is combine. So what combine will do, it'll take two VDBs and based on the settings here, it'll output a single VDB. So here you can see I've got uh, surface and then here I can just call the surface 2 for example. Okay, and then out comes surface. So it's going to take whatever's in A and then whatever's in B and based on these settings, it's going to output whatever happens. Okay, so to go through the settings, uh, these are two groups, so you can select uh, specific groups of VDBs if you want. The correlation is going to combine A and B pairs, meaning it's going to like do a merge, basically. Merge each A with first B. So if you have uh, a bunch of different VDBs in here, so say you've got three VDBs in here, and then one VDB in here, this will combine each one in, the, in A with the first one in B. Uh, you can flatten all of A, which means all those VDBs will become one. You can flatten all of B into the first, okay, so you can see how it gets very involved. Um, the operation is actually what's going to happen. So right now we are just going to copy A. So it's going to take whatever's in A, copy it and output it. Okay, which I mean, it's not really what you want. Uh, you might as well just not have this at all. Uh, you can copy B, which means in this chain you'll now have B. I mean, I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. Uh, you can invert A. So what will happen is you'll see, let's do invert A. Uh, I think this is probably better if this is a density. Yeah, okay. So I don't know if you can see it there, but you've got the cutout of the actual VDB. So it's just filled the bounding box with uh, with the volume, and then it's cut out where um, this VDB is. You can add, so it'll take both of them and add them together, um, which is probably a bit more descriptive when I show you the SDFs. You can see like that, which is like is exactly like a combine. Uh, you can subtract, so one will subtract from the other, and so on. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things. Uh, you can do a union, which will um, create one, and it will remove all the uh, the extra box of data in the middle. Um, intersection will just give you whatever is in the middle. Difference will give you kind of like a subtract, but a bit of cleaner. These two multipliers here, so you can, these are basically like influences, so you can go, okay, uh, I want two times of that and one times of that. It certainly really works when you're doing things like multiply, divide, add, stuff like that. Uh, this resample, so this, what it's going to do is it's going to force B to resample to A. So what I mean by that is this resolution is 0.2 and this resolution, say, let's change it to 1, okay, just for fun, and then it's going to force B to the resolution of A, and then it's going to do the operation. So if I do a union, you'll see that now instead of being low res, it's actually upper res a bit. Okay, uh, you can do it the other way around if you want. Um, you can match that higher res to the lower res or the other way around. Print tolerance is going to look for constant values. So sometimes when you do combines and stuff, you'll get like a voxel that will have a value of one specifically, just like as an error or whatever. And this prune will either add it back in or take it out. Okay, so that's combine. Pretty handy. Uh, I use combine all the time when I've got, um, especially when I'm doing sims to or uh, to create a interesting emission or uh, I've got two simulations of smoke or something that I want to merge into one SDF or one uh, VDB or whatever. Uh, so it's pretty handy. It's pretty powerful. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you next time.